Hello. Today I will be walking through the first steps you will need to take in order to set up your local device. This includes how to set up your device physically, as well as some of the first steps you should take to begin your journey on becoming NIST compliant. Starting off, make sure your Nectar unit is out of the box and placed on a flat surface, or if you have an easily accessible server rack, you can place it on there instead. Please note that if you do immediately place it on a server rack, it will need to be easily accessible for a monitor and keyboard during these initial steps. Next, you will need a VGA cable to connect between the computer monitor and the device, or if you're using a SOHO device, an HDMI cable. Then you will need to make sure you have a keyboard and have it connected to one of the USB ports located on the back of your device. Once you have everything ready to go, simply turn on your Nectar device and wait for the login screen to appear like so. Once you find yourself here, simply type in the default username and password. The default username should be Nectar, all lowercase, and the password should be Nectar as well, also all lowercase. Now you should be brought to the Configuration Manager screen. Here you have a few options such as enabling SSH, restoring default information such as your default admin passwords, and so on. You can ignore most of these for now because what we really need to focus on is changing the IP address so we can use your device's web UI. Using your keyboard arrow keys, move down to the Change IP Address and press Enter. Now for the first dialog box, you need to place the IP address and subnet mask in CIDR format. For example, if my IP address is 172.16.5.228 with a subnet mask of 255.255.254.0, or in a short form, forward slash 23, then simply type in 172.16.5.228 with that forward slash. Next is going to be your gateway IP. This should be the IP address of wherever your Nectar product is connecting to for internet access, be it a router, firewall, or other network device. For this example, the gateway is going to be 172.816.4.1. Last but not least, we have the DNS, which should be set to your network's domain. For example, we have the domain of 172.16.0.100. And then finally hit enter and you should be brought to a screen to confirm your changes. If everything looks correct, you can click OK and we're all set with physical setup. With your Nectar box now all set to go, you can disconnect it from the monitor and keyboard if you wish. You will then need to connect your Nectar unit to your server rack or if you're using a Zoho device then you can place it on a flat surface such as a table. If you need to unplug the Nectar unit to move, just remember to shut it off first. Next, you would want to have a CAT5 network cable put on your Nectar unit's Ethernet 0 port, which should look like this. The CAT5 cable should be connected to whichever network you plan to have your Nectar unit to be monitoring on. Once everything is all set, make sure your Nectar unit is powered on and you're ready to continue. Now, you will need access to a computer on the same network as your Nectar unit and to go into a browser. Google Chrome is preferable, and you will need to type into the URL bar on top the IP address you just assigned to your Nectar unit. So in this case, it would be 172-16-5-228. And you have to make sure to add a colon 5000 to the end of the address. And this will bring you to your login screen. If it does come up saying that it is not a uh, SSL certification, do not worry about it. Just hit advance and then click continue anyways. You will now be brought to the login screen. The default user will be admin at nectar.local. And the default password will be just the same as before with admin, but with a capital A. Once your username and password is typed in, you'll be brought to the Nectar unit's home screen, which should look like something similar to this right here. Before starting anything else, the first thing you will want to do is update to the latest version of our Nectar client. Just click the update button, which will bring you to the updates page, and then click update now. If it's like this sometimes, you can always just go to settings instead and navigate to the update page manually by doing this. You'll be brought to here, update now. This can take anywhere from a few minutes to an hour, or maybe even a couple hours, depending on your internet speed. And once the update is installed, make sure to reboot your Nectar box just to be safe, and then you're ready to explore your Nectar system. And with that finished, you're ready to begin exploring our device. In our next video of the Nectar Initial Setup series, we will be looking at how to set up your Nectar's 
Backup Settings. If you'd like to find out more information, please check out our documentation at docs.nectarlabs.com or contact us at support at nectarlabs.com. Hope to see you in the next video.